the purpose, uh, the, the importance of quality indicators in rehabilitation. The rehabilitation is a, is a science, is a field where uh, we are constantly evolving our treatments, changing our strategies to, to find out ways to relieve the pain, the disability, the problems of the patient. Right? So, we constantly are evolving with uh, the techniques, even the tools which we select. The, uh, we, have, we have to manage patient requirements, we have to manage uh, patient's expectations, his family expectations, the person is not able to maybe go to his job, so we are expecting uh, his recovery to be in the fastest possible way. And then we also need to uh, uh, make sure that the, uh, we are answer, answerable and accountable to whatever treatments we are giving. Uh, considering all this, the quality indicators uh, come in the picture. Uh, today what we are doing is uh, uh, need-based care and uh, pay-for-service-based care. But what we need to evolve now is towards a quality-based care. Why I need to mention this is also because the therapist, the patient, the family members, all the stakeholders, even the doctors, uh, even the insurance who is paying for the patient, uh, needs to, uh, will, will get in onto a stage where uh, everybody will ask for a quality indicator to be mentioned. What effect and what uh, accountability we have to, uh, towards all of these people and how many people we have benefited and how many treatments we have benefited people by which all uh, tools and techniques all have to be mentioned. So taking all this into consideration, the, the uh, quality indicators are not only for uh, the therapist, but are also for the other stakeholders in the treatment and the rehabilitation program who will take care of the uh, total uh, care. Now, when I mention uh, quality indicators, the, uh, the Western world, which is obviously the leaders uh, until now, in uh, the area of rehabilitation and then uh, the practices which they have started, we have been following and we have been implementing a lot. But we need to, each therapist, as a therapist in individual, when I mention quality indicators, it's not only responsibility of the therapist, it is also the responsibility of the manager. It is the, also the responsibility of uh, the uh, patient uh, caregivers who are uh, partners with the rehabilitation team and the patient also that all need to focus on the outcome based care the quality indicators of the care for example when i take a, a stroke patient how many how many sessions would it require to improve and to bring one function and to recover his one function at a time so when I say the person is not able to uh, sit to stand or a person is not able to hold a glass of water. So can I, can I just request all of you to please uh, reflect on your, your knowledge, on your experiences, on your, on your uh, ability to give the patient what he requires at your, at, at your be level best. That the patient is able to recover within the within the time frame which is not exceeding more because it is his, uh, renew, it, it is his uh, job which is uh, on hold, it, it is his ADLs, his functions, his, uh, his, uh, his life, he's expecting a lot from your therapy. So please, uh, as a therapist, as a healthcare provider, it is, and as a healthcare manager also, many of us are uh, in, a, in a position who are already managing centers. So as a therapist, so I, I also wanted to mention this uh, starting with a, um, uh, a case where a company uh, who has a multi centers for approximately 40 centers all over India. Now this company is requiring to compare his centers all across India in terms of performance. When he, they look at the therapist, the therapists are 
uh, engrossed with patients and they are treating patients nine to five in the uh, day in and day out. But what are the what are the other indicators except therapy provision of therapy and footfall in the clinic? Are there any other quality indicators? Are there any other uh, other indicators which can uh, which can indicate that the uh, the care which the therapist and the centers and the program as a whole is uh, successful. How, how do we judge that a program, uh, if, if, if a company like this, which, can, uh, which, which is supporting the uh, structure of 40 centers all across India, uh, taking care of their salaries, their leaves, their, their uh, in and day in and day out uh, requirements, consumables, uh, supporting them through other means of uh, staff and uh, infrastructure facilities, uh, would they not ask for uh, a quality indicator which will lead them to decide which centers are the best performers? It is not only us, it is whole of, uh, whole of the uh, profession which needs to reframe their mind across uh, their practices that we need to uh, move towards outcome based quality indicators quality indicative uh, uh, therapy and rehabilitation practice uh, the best uh, the they, there may be some barriers which i have felt uh, will be there and all of us will uh, have to overcome those barriers the barriers may be in relation to uh, the mindset which we need to change we, we need to start changing by changing our own practices. We need to be more accountable, we need to be more, uh, more, uh, more giving and more responsible when we, need, when we are doing this. Uh, uh, the, uh, th the therapy indicators are one part of the story. We uh, take therapy indicators, for example, pain. We have measured pain in so many, so many using many scales. There are a lot of functional outcome scales which are available condition-wise, problem-wise. Uh, except these, we also need to uh, have indicators of how a patient, uh, for example, a patient uh, with back pain. Now, there are so many causes of back pain, but when we come at outcomes, the outcomes may be not, because the causes are not same, we cannot say the outcomes will be same. But are there any parameters we can confine on to, which can give us a better comparison and better experience in terms of care providing? That if these are the indicators, these could be the uh, outcomes of the therapy. May it be elect May, may it be using uh, home exercises, self-treatment, it may be uh, based on using a, a center-based treatment, it, which may involve may various tools and techniques. But then overall we need to think and we need to move around these points and also take care that the care which we are providing should be best in whatever possible way we can give. The food for thought, and the notion should stay with us and I expect all of us to come at a level where uh, these quality indicators which we need to make on our own and need to develop based on the patient condition, based on the uh, comorbidities the patient is facing, the uh, care which we are providing, the setup at which we are, the, this all cycle will start right away when uh, we are starting with uh, defining why we are putting an indicator. Is it a review process? Is it only for documentation? Is it for uh, insurance that you need to uh, prove uh, your point that yes, my treatment and my therapy is effective? Is it, for, uh, is it for some other purpose which you need to prove to a, a physician, to the, to the rehab care team? Is it for communicating for others to compare the patients? Is it for a search? The purpose can be different. And likewise, the indicators and the therapy uh, uh, indicators and performers can be different. So uh, my, my uh, message to the audience 
uh, is that the quality indicators and rehab are the need of the hour. Although we are using and there are a lot of tools available, but I am still uh, uh, expecting a lot uh, in terms of uh, improving the quality care, both uh, in documentation and in practice. Thank you.